Welcome to the Leader's Bookshelf, a weekly journey through today's top business and personal development books with your host, Frank Gustafson. If you read to lead, welcome home. If you want to read to lead, you're in the right place. Now grab your reading glasses and a cup of hot coffee, and let's get this show on the road. The Warrior Ethos by Stephen Pressfield. The Spartans do not ask how many are the enemy, but where they are. Plutarch, from the Sayings of the Spartans. What an amazing read this book was. As a Marine myself, I particularly enjoyed the book because I felt like it really summed up what the ultimate essence of the Marine Corps was for me while I served. Now, I'm not necessarily comparing the modern-day Marine Corps with the ancient Spartan culture. I don't think there ever has been, nor will there ever be, another culture like that again. The ancient Spartans were absolutely amazing and awe-inspiring. Pressfield, a retired Marine himself, wrote the warrior ethos for the men and women in uniform. However, he says that the book is really for anyone who lives and strives to defend a sense of purpose and integrity in their lives by an ethos. An ethos is a code by which one conducts himself. The book is based on the ancient Spartans and their warrior culture. The ancient Spartan culture was absolutely fearless. They countered fear with certain values and virtues. Among them were shame and honor and love. The Spartan culture was a shame-based culture. The worst a warrior could do was bring shame on his family and on his people. In their warrior culture, it was more honorable to die in battle than to live not having given your all. In the book, Pressfield talks about the difference between a guilt culture and a shame culture, and they are definitely not the same thing. The opposite of shame is honor. And honor is the Spartans, or was the Spartans' highest value. Being part of the Spartan culture and giving your life for its purpose was the ultimate sacrifice and its greatest prize. Love was another virtue or value in the Spartan culture. And the greatest love a Spartan warrior possessed was the bond and the brotherhood with his fellow warrior. His brothers to his left and his right were really the reason that they continued to fight. Being found worthy by your brothers in battle was really paramount to the Spartan warrior. A couple of the other virtues that the Spartan warriors um, espoused and and uh, lived out kind of in their life and in their training was the willingness to go through trials and ordeals. It was almost like it was an honorable thing to, to, to suffer and to go through trials for a greater cause. Uh, selflessness was valued in their culture. And selfless for them was all about the welfare of their team, their men, their fellow warriors, and how they would put them in, before themselves. So it, it's kind of the team and my fellow warriors before me all the time. They always put themselves after that, and, and that was they were subservient to kind of that um, part of their, well, their culture, their ethos. The warrior ethos is just chock full of stories, and these stories are awesome, and I don't use that term lightly. I hate when terms are used lightly, like incredible. Well, incredible means lacking credibility, and, and people don't use it for that. So, so the definition of awesome is extremely impressive or daunting and inspiring great admiration. And the description of the like the training that the Spartan boys went through to become warriors was extremely impressive, uh, <laughs> daunting, and certainly inspired great admiration in me as a reader. The book really made me want to run through walls and want to line up to race a speeding locomotive and jump tall buildings in a single bound. <laughs> Can you imagine an old guy like me trying to race a train? But this book took me back to my days in the Marine Corps, and it rekindled that pride that I felt to be part of something greater than myself. 
that feeling of dedication to honor, courage, and commitment just came flooding back to me. It made me proud of our men and women in service today, the, the folks that are in our armed services today, whose ethos includes a love and a loyalty to things like duty and honor and country. I challenge you to take this little book and read it. Um, it's only about 90 pages. Grab the book, see for yourself. I dare you not to come away from this book without a new appreciation for the warrior who abided by an ethos, uh, really a higher purpose. So he, let me read a quote, and this is how Pressfield ends the book. He says, Let us be, then, warriors of the heart, and enlist in our inner cause the virtues we have acquired through the blood and sweat in the sphere of conflict, courage, patience, selflessness, loyalty, fidelity, self-command, respect for elders, love for our comrades and our enemies, perseverance, cheerfulness in adversity, and a sense of humor, however terse or dark. God, I love this book. You can find Stephen Pressfield's The Warrior Ethos on Amazon. I encourage you to grab a copy, spend a few hours getting from the front to the back. Once you have a chance to do that, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this book. Until next time, keep turning those pages. 